everyone and welcome to another midweek video message update. As always, I trust this inquiry finds you safe, healthy, and well. I'm recording this message on Tuesday morning in five more days is Sunday, the first Sunday in the season of Advent. I've already begun dressing for the season of Advent. I'm decked out in blue today. My blue button-down long sleeve shirt, my blue flannel, that chosen for two reasons. One is to coordinate the blues, but also because it's cold this morning, 22 degrees in my car when I started it up to drive into my office this morning. In fact, not only am I dressed in blue with my shirt and, or my shirts, I got my blue glasses and for almost 60 years now, blue eyes. I am going all in for the season of Advent. Yes, indeed, the color of Advent, the liturgical color of Advent is blue. The next four seasons before Christmas, our altar pyramids will be the color of, will be blue in color. Blue is the color of hope. And I want to speak about hope for just a couple moments from two perspectives. Our hope and God's hope. How often do you think about God having hope too? We often talk about us having hope, about people having hope, hope out in the world, hope that this goes right, hope that this goes right, hope that this goes our way, hope we hope we get what we want. But let's visit for just a few moments today about what God might be hoping for during the season of Advent. Friends and neighbors in Christ, I want to remind us that we are in a reciprocal relationship with God, an authentic relationship with God. God loves us and God expects and equips and calls us to love God back. And we can love God back by loving our neighbor. It's how relationships work. And I want to suggest to us today that God hopes, during the season of Advent in particular, God's hope for you is that you learn to trust God. I know we all have hopes, but God hopes that we will learn to trust God. One of the emails I get each day is an inspiring quotation. Yesterday's inspiring quotation was sourced to Benjamin Franklin. Franklin purportedly once said this, the way to see by faith is to shut the eye of reason. Let me repeat that for your consideration. The way to see by faith is to shut the eye of reason. Yes, indeed, God hopes during the season of Advent in particular that we will learn to trust God. The opposite of trust, the opposite of faith is not doubt. The opposite of faith, the opposite of having faith, the opposite of trust is self-dependence. Where we trust our own eyes, where we trust our own reason, where we trust our own experience, where we trust our own intellect, where we trust our own understanding. But God, especially during the season, the Advent, a season of hope, God hopes that we will stop trusting ourselves and learn to trust Jesus. For the last movement of our midweek video message update, I want to simply share a, sim a single verse of a very familiar hymn. It's, it's a good hymn for the season of Advent because the, the hymn is about hope. You know this hymn, my hope is built on nothing less. So rather than trusting ourselves, it's God's hope for us that we will trust God 
and God's story of Jesus for the world. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. No merit of my own I claim, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. God has hopes for you. Place your hope in Christ Jesus.